What's up, guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. As you know, we are currently on a 24-hour fast. So, that being said, basically the only thing, and I just want to kind of explain how to do a fast, benefits of fasting, how I feel when I'm fasting, is it difficult? I just want to go over a 24-hour fast in all of its entirety and hope that this information provides you with the knowledge and comfort that you're going to be able to need during your own personal 24-hour fast. So first of all, the only thing I drink when I'm fasting or consume is going to be branched chain amino acids, aka water, basically, and coffee. I do two cups of coffee in the morning with cream. Now you're going to probably read that that's not going to work. Look at my hands from yesterday from lifting. You're probably going to read that that doesn't work, and that's perfectly fine. You do what works for you. They say black coffee, blah, 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 blah. I feel like coffee is my thing. It's my routine. If I'm not eating, fine. If I do end up getting hungry, okay, I go into this weird, like, meditative state when I do fasting, like, for long periods, for 24 hours. Um, if I find myself buckling, I'll go ahead and do a coffee, like, midway through the day. Uh, today, I actually, my, my hunger, it's noon right now, my hunger kicks up at about 11, and I've noticed that the last few times I've fasted. Because the last time I fasted, the last two times I fasted, the actually only times I think I've ever purposely fasted for 24 hours, were both at the airport recently. So it was a little bit easier in the sense that I was trying to save money, also staying on track, and worrying about different things, and uh, I was definitely able to do other stuff. And technically speaking, you're going to be able to find plenty to do, unless you're standing in front of the fridge and then it's just a flawed process. So basically how it works for me is I pick a time. <laughs> my time is actually midnight. My time I'll break my fast probably I'll, I'll probably break it at midnight because I'll be hungry. Um, I have not eaten since midnight. Actually since like 10 o'clock last night. So technically I'm good at 10. But let's just be safe and say midnight. Really, I could probably even go a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to tell you a couple things that I feel first, and then I'm going to read some stuff from Healthline.com because that's a pretty good source of information that I've noticed and that I've used in the past. So first of all, a couple things happens when you are fasting. The first thing that I notice that happens when I'm fasting is immediately I feel a sense of control as soon as my as soon as like discipline as soon as my hunger kicks in 11 12 sometimes 1 2 whatever and i say no instantly i feel like a huge empowerment like a huge empowerment because i didn't reach for the food i felt like i could say no and if you've ever had food issues or anything like that you know that sometimes that can be an issue the next thing that I noticed almost indefinitely is, almost immediately I mean, is I feel leaner. Now I know that sounds crazy because it's like a few hours or whatever. But like when I stretch back, my abdominals start to pop through, um, muscles in my legs, I can feel different things. I can definitely feel my legs lean out really fast. It's really strange. Your body is going to go from, because technically, I've already been fasting for 14 hours. So I only have like 10 hours left. So I'm fasting quite a long time already in the world of intermittent fasting or fasting in general. So after about two hours, your body starts realizing that it's not going to get any food. So it starts burning fat and starts uh, as fuel and stuff like that. Uh, if you're looking to get into ketosis faster, this can be a really w beneficial way because 
I mean, if you don't have anything to burn, your body's going to burn what it has, and it has fat stores left. Um, after the 24 hours, it's probably best to go ahead and break it with something light. For me, it doesn't really affect... I had one time that I did I think it was the first time I broke it. I ate too much too fast, and I actually felt um, slightly sick. But the other one or two times that I did it, uh, I felt perfectly fine and kind of eased into it, I think, but not really purposely. So growth hormone is increased. I want to read this verbatim because I feel like a lot of people have this weird stigma about fasting. First of all, if you think for a second, just back up your mind and think for a second, how much, how often, how much we overeat. Think about it. Think about like 500 years ago when you had to gather food, when there was not weight issues. Like between hunting and gathering, maybe you chased a rabbit all day. Maybe you caught the rabbit, maybe you didn't. But now you catch a McDonald's drive through you catch a grocery store, you catch a pizza. Like it's literally food 24-7. Your body is too much overworked, all right? That is just a very well wide known thing. Unless you're doing bodybuilding, and even if you are doing bodybuilding, you're probably not eating junk. So keep that in mind. So this is rid, written verbatim from Red. I'm reading this verbatim from a website called healthline.com. Despite its surge in popularity. Fasting is a practice that dates back centuries and plays a central role in many cultures and religions. Defined as the abstinence from all foods or drinks for a set period of time, there are many different ways of fasting. In general, most types of fasting are performed for 24 to 72 hours. Intermittent fasting, on the other hand, involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting ranging from a few hours to a few days of time. Fasting has been shown to have many health benefits from increased weight loss to better brain function. Here's health, uh, eight reasons why. Now this is gonna be kind of lengthy, so I'm trying to debunk or help you understand exactly what it means to fast. And that thing is hot as hell. Okay, promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance. Those of you out there that are eating sugar too much and stuff like that, like this could be a really beneficial thing. But remember, you could have really screwed up your system. Okay, one time of fasting, not going to do it. Caution, 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 caution. If you're under a doctor's care, you're diabetic, you're hypoglycemic, you have high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, you take medication, you're under a doctor's care or anything like that, you need to consult your physician before you think about anything related to any type of change about your food or medication or anything like that. I am not a doctor and you cannot in no way, shape or form do things without their approval because it's important because overall health is the most important thing for everybody, okay? Several studies have found that fasting may improve blood sugar control, which could especially be especially useful for those at risk of diabetes. In fact, one study of 10 people with type 2 diabetes showed that short-term intermittent fasting significantly decreased blood sugar. Meanwhile, another review found that both intermittent fasting and alternative alternate day fasting were as effective as limiting calorie intake at reducing insulin resistance. Decreasing insulin resistance can result, can increase your body's sensitivity to insulin, allowing it to transport glucose from your bloodstream to your cells more efficiently. Coupled with potential blood sugar lowering effects of fasting, this could keep, help keep your blood sugar steady, preventing spikes and crashes in your blood sugar. Energy, 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 energy. Keep in mind, though, that some studies found that fasting may impact your levels differently for men and women. For instance, one small three-week study showed that alternate day fasting impaired blood sugar of women but had no effect on men. 
promotes better health for fighting by fighting inflammation. My psoriasis was not as bad after I did fasting. Just throwing it out there. Okay. While acute inflammation is a normal immune process used by to fight off infections, chron chronic inflammation can have serious consequences for your health. Research shows that inflammation may be involved in development of chronic conditions such as heart disease, cancer, and rheumatoid arthritis. I'm not going to read all the studies or anything like that. If you want to read more, what's more, animal study? No, I'm not going to read all that. May enhance heart health by improving blood pressure, triglycerides, and cholesterol levels. Heart disease is considered the leading cause of death around the world, accounting for an estimated 31.5% of deaths globally. Switching up your diet and changing lifestyle is one of the most effective ways to reduce your risk of heart disease. I'm not going to read the research. If you want to read the research, may boost brain function and prevent neurodegenerative disorders. Through research, a limited animal, several studies, fasting could help the powerful, effective effect on brain health. Let's see. Aids weight loss by limited calorie intake and boosting metabolism. I will first of all say that you need to go into a caloric deficit each and every single day or at least during the week or whatever in order to lose weight. Taking yourself to a caloric deficit entirely for the day will definitely benefit you as long as you don't go psycho and eat tons of freaking food the next day. Many dieters pick up fasting for a cook and lose drop a way to drop a few pounds theoretically abstaining from all certain foods and beverages should decrease your overall intake which could increase weight loss over time some research has found that short-term fasting may boost metabolism by increasing levels of neurotransmitter neuropronephrine which could enhance weight loss I'm going to read this part. In fact, one review showed that whole day fasting could reduce body weight by up to 9% and significantly decrease body fat over the course of 12 to 24 weeks. In summary, I should read the summary because that's what I should read. Fasting may increase metabolism and help preserve muscle tissue to reduce body weight and body fat. Increased growth hormone secretion, which is vital for growth, metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. Human growth hormone, HGH, is a type of protein hormone that is central to many aspects of your health. In fact, research shows that it is a key hormone involved in growth metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. In summary, and there's more in there, if you want to read all this, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Go ahead, but it would take forever to read it all. Plus, I'm not a super fast reader. Studies show that fasting can increase levels of human growth hormone, HDH, an important protein hormone that plays a role in metabolism, weight loss, growth, metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. Could delay aging, number seven, could delay aging and, exchange, and extend longevity. The one below are the summary. Animal studies have shown, have found that fasting could delay aging and increase longevity, but human research is still lacking. If you think about it, like the stress on your body, giving it a break, it makes sense. And I definitely don't agree with any type of animal studies. Just throw that out there. May aid, number eight, may aid in cancer present can't talk. May aid in cancer prevention and increase effectiveness of chemotherapy. Animal and test tube studies indicate that fasting may benefit the treatment and prevention of cancer. In summary, some studies 
suggests that fasting could block tumor development and increase effectiveness of chemotherapy. You guys, I could go on and on. Look, watch, I'll show you. And I just want to explain something really quick that there's one of these things I saw. I want to read one. Where is it? There was one here that said hour by hour. I don't see it. But anyway, wait, here it is, maybe. Let's see, hour by hour, 24 hour fasting. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see it here. But basically, like you go through different stages where your body increases hormones and it increases HGH. Well, this is kind of one. No, that's intermittent fasting. So basically, at like the 24 hour mark, your HGH will peak. Like your human growth hormone will peak, which is really cool because, you know, if you're working out and stuff like that, you can get benefits that you normally wouldn't because your body is not sure what's happening and it's a really good way of kind of like resetting your system. You guys, I really hope this information helped you. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I am by no means some guru of fasting. I'm gonna be calling, going, doing like probably one more this week. Um, I'm focusing on not only my self-discipline personally, but also I have a goal there and it was the other day I hit, I was like 220. My back, my weight's all over the place because of the running right now. And today it was like 217. So if I was doing my weight drops and everything like that, like I was doing before, I'm probably sitting around 207-ish, something like that. Um, so, but I'm shooting for like a clean 199 and I'm trying to hit, well, I have it, it's two. 200. Yeah, 199 I'm trying to hit in two weeks. Not due to fasting, but just due to cleaning up my diet and getting really kind of honed in on everything. So I'm going to probably do one more fast this week, um, probably two or three days or maybe later on in the week, and then I'm going to see what happens. And then I'm probably going to try some different things next week, and I've done them in the past. OMAD which is one meal a day. I'm not looking for anybody else's idea of it. You guys probably know who I'm talking to. Um, I understand the whole concept of OMAD. It's one meal a day, so you're basically like eating once. And I have done it in the past and I've had successes, but also what you have to remember is these are just tools in your tool chest. OMAD is a caloric deficit. And if it's not, it's because you're not eating for such a long period of time. Atkins, usually a caloric deficit, restricting your carbohydrates. Everything's going to have its thing, but most of them are going to be caloric deficit or not eating for long periods of time, which gives your body time to burn body fat percentage. So that being said, you guys have a beautiful day. Be stronger than excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Stay on track. Team Boo. Have a beautiful day. I said that twice. Bye.